on breathing and how to do it and what you can learn about people from how they breathe, I was reading this book and it pointed me to a famous quote from this book that I'll read you now. And then I'll talk about the importance of these books after the quote. The true men of old did not dream when they slept, had no anxiety when they awoke, and did not care that their food should be pleasant. Their breathing came deep and silently. The breathing of the true man comes from his heels, while men generally breathe only from their throats. When men are defeated in an argument, their words come from their gullets as if they were vomiting. Where lust and desires are deep, the springs of the heavenly are shallow. And so let's talk quickly about the books that these came from. This is The Seal of the Unity of Three. I think this translation is really wonderful because it has a lot of commentary with it. But this is uh, usually regarded as the first book of Chinese alchemy. Um, and it's definitely of the switch to internal alchemy. So it's a second century text, and it's really a wonderful piece of work. Um, and one of the great factoids from this, apparently the reason people started switching from external alchemy, where you were swallowing stuff, to internal alchemy is because two different emperors got poisoned because they were doing external alchemy. So they said, let's just do the internal alchemy where you're using the Tao inside yourself and your own mind. Um, so this is one of the most important alchemy texts of all time. And that pointed to a quote from Shuang Tzu. And so if you like the Tao Te Ching, this is the next Taoist to read. This you could probably say is the second most famous uh, thinker in Taoism. And so this is around fourth century BCE. And uh, there are a lot of different editions. I just happen to have these uh, from Uncle Buck. So I don't have a best edition. There's a lot of arguments about um, what is actually from Shuang Tzu, what was added later. Um, but it is wonderful stuff. And so if you like the Tao Te Ching, the next writer to read is Shuang Tzu. And if anyone has any favorite translations out there, I would love to hear them. Um, and most of all, breathe from your heels. <laughs>